Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the University Modular Building, which is actually an alternate build of the Hogwarts Castle. In order to build this, you need to part out the 6,020 piece Hogwarts Castle set. Personally, we sort all of our parts by part type. So bricks, plates, slopes, connectors, not bricks, brackets, plants, panels, curve slopes, and everything like that. Next, head to rebrickable.com where you can purchase your instructions from Bolt Builds. The instructions come in PDF form and they're exactly like Lego instructions. Very easy to follow and pretty much flawless. Two additional parts that you need to build this is actually one and a half base plates and we're actually building ours on a mills plate. The entire ground gets covered with plate or tile, so that's why it's these random colors. But yeah, you need one base plate and one half base plate. This massive modular building consists of 5,209 pieces. So of course, when you're finished building it, you're left over with about 817 pieces of the original Hogwarts castle. But I will say there's some good pieces here, such as all of these slopes, also all of the rock panels, some curved slopes, and just stuff that's really good to add to your Lego parts inventory even like some large plates, some large cone elements over here, some Technic pieces, and also some two by plates. So really, it's not too bad. It's pretty efficient and uses a mass amount of pieces from the Hogwarts set. In addition to all of those pieces, you're left over with a bunch of the micro scale minifigures, the four house founders, and also a snake. So it's actually pretty cool to have these in your inventory. And I'd imagine actually they uh, sell for a pretty penny on BrickLink. Now you're probably wondering why the sidewalks are studs rather than tiles. That's just because the necessary tiles to tile that off were not included in the original Hogwarts sets. So of course, rebrickable designers work within the parameters of the parts that are given in these sets. And you know what? I think that's so cool that you can go to the Lego store, buy an official set, use rebrickable instructions and convert it into something really cool like this. However, with that said, the designer did include some instructions in the back of the instruction manual showing you how to convert this into tiles so that it is more compatible with the other modular buildings. And it only uses about 100 pieces, all of which we have in our inventory, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Got it all tiled off. Beautiful. That looks incredible. Definitely worth the 100 piece investment. Got a nice entrance right here leading into the Grand Chapel. Look at that archway. It's beautiful. I love how there's like two and they're different sizes. Just frames that door beautifully. Got a couple torches, one on either side of the door. An amazing stained glass window right here. There's lots of stained glass windows in the Hogwarts set. And you know what? They're carried over here. Obviously, this is built using the pieces from Hogwarts, so there's going to be lots of... Uh, symbolism toward Harry Potter. Love the roof up here. It's topped with the ski poles and also some Dementors and those slopes in the light gray and dark gray look fantastic. Also some of the tooth elements poking up over the top. Some nice windows on the side here. Keep in mind this side can be pressed up against a building and then we've got the nice circular tower right here to the right of the entrance. Some more windows and a little garden just behind this stone bench here really clever use of sort of a couch but it's actually a stone bench and you'll actually notice that a lot of the sticker elements are used from the Hogwarts set essentially all of them and they're scattered all throughout this build some more stained glass windows and another entrance right here a unique looking lamp post and another little garden right here I love the railing going around the garden look at the use of those Technic elements fantastic then we have a drain pipe and some more windows on this side. So many different styles of windows, whether they're using actual window and window glass, or just the cylinders, or all of the transparent one by two elements. The massive main entrance right here, once again, beautiful arch going over top of that. While editing this, I realized that we forgot to put Godric Gryffindor's sword, or the sword of Gryffindor, over top of the door. We just didn't want to separate it from the minifigure, but it's supposed to go right there. And then we have some snakes and also the Ravenclaw sticker piece right there. You can switch that out for whatever you want. I debated with the wife and we decided to go with Ravenclaw as that is her house. 
sort of a castle feel. You got the large tower coming up over top here with the matching flag. Ravenclaw, that is. And the beautiful top right here with a telescope and also a chimney. All of these roofs come off in many different ways. It's 100% modular. I'll show you that in one moment. Coming around back here, it looks gorgeous. There's like a little nook right here with a garden. And you can see there's actually some points of exit and entry. There's some more torches, a little fountain, also some bushes, some more windows on the back here, some more drain pipes. And it just looks gorgeous from all angles. You use some of the green plate back here to represent grass. And there's these large quarter cylinder curved panels right here to make a nice texture to the back side of that building. So, I mean, this building consists of so many different modules. The first main module is the half base plate that can separate from the main base plate, right? So you can just pull it apart just like that. You can actually connect the half building to either side because you can see there's some Technic pins along the bottom here or pinholes along the bottom here. And then there's also some pinholes along the bottom here. So if you really wanted to, you could put the chapel part of it on this side. I personally don't think it looks as good this way because then you have two sort of main entrances side by side all along with the two stained glass windows side by side. So I much prefer it how we had it before with the 16 by 32 base plate or the half base plate on this side here. I just think that makes more sense. But the building itself is completely modular in the sense that all of these roofs will come off and all of the different uh, second floor components will come off as well. So let's start with the roofs here. This roof very easily just pop off like that there. You can see it's one solid unit. This large back section right here will pop off like that. This little central roof right here will come off as well. You'll see some sticker elements. You got the keys right there. And then there's just one more roof that'll pop off just like that there. Before we have a look at the details, here's the details that are sort of hidden on these walls sandwiched between the two buildings. You can see there's some sticker elements hidden in there. So the Grand Chapel with its roof removed, you can see right down inside of it, uh, there is only one floor. This is the Grand Chapel, so it's got a very tall ceiling and you'll be able to see the details inside there once we detach the ground floor from the first floor. Oops, it looks like I actually made the mistake of taking the entire floor, but this little roof comes off here and this little module sits right here and it actually connects to the dorms where you can see a kitchen, also two little beds, and then this is actually a little bathroom right here with a checkered floor, toilet, and sink. So you got some nice dorms right there on the top floor. Connected to the dorms and just down the stairs, there's a little laboratory right here in the first floor tower. And there's actually a little wall here that can open up so you can see inside the laboratory a little easier from the exterior. So you don't have to take it apart to get inside there. I thought that was pretty cool. It's just like a little hinge wall. Pretty neat little feature. So that's our first floor. You can see a little sticker element there also in that laboratory. Once again, all modules. So this will pop off just like that there. This larger section will pop off like, oops, like that. <laughs> Tried to grab too many floors at once there. And then this one will pop off as well. And this is a little library or study right here. And then we can pop that entire module off as well. And this one as well, where we have the Dean's office, the little chair there, just a little office. And then down here, we have a common room with a carpeted staircase, couch, little area rug there. Over here, we've got a little secret entrance. This bookcase right here is on some hinges, so it'll actually hinge open just like that there. In addition to the little arched entryway right here, that'll lead out to the garden. And then we've got some other details, such as the doorway right there. And right here is actually a fireplace. And this fireplace actually can open. Like You can pull it out just like that. It's sort of hard to get your hands in there, but there's a little Easter egg in there. You see that? 
Isn't that interesting? And that'll just slide right back in underneath that staircase. But some pretty good details in here. I love it. Uh, lots of details. It's a little bit cramped and there's so much going on with all of the different components. It is uh, insane. And my favorite of all the rooms is actually this room right here. Let's reassemble this. It's almost like a little jigsaw puzzle, but honestly, it, it goes together pretty easy. There's a, a lot of components, that's for sure. You gotta try and sort of memorize where they go. Maybe you have uh, the images or reference the images as you put it together, but not really. I mean, it's going together pretty flawlessly. There's just one more component right here. That'll sort of finish off the main building. It's funny that I just mentioned uh, Jigsaw Puzzle because while editing this video, I realized that when I reassembled the building, I accidentally put that rooftop the wrong way. It's always good to reference the images. So that one's put back together. And now we'll have a look at our sort of like great hall here. There's a bunch of different activities that the students can do in here. Bolt Builds actually classified it as the Grand Chapel. But it's pretty cool. First off, look at the chandelier right here that's connected to this floor. The use of some snake elements and also the dragon wings. And you can see that chandelier. Also, there's some house flags. There's a little balcony right there where the dean can sort of peer into the Grand Chapel where students will be studying or having dinner or, or eating or, or doing whatever, right? So there's a whole bunch of different activities that the students can do in here. This is probably a two-hander. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, probably should have been. But yeah, there we go. Here we have the Grand Chapel where you can see there's a large bookcase there. And some stickers on the wall there. A little whiteboard or chalkboard. Some seating areas. Another couple stickered flags there. Some bleachers. There's our large door leading inward. The double door just like that there. And in here, there's actually some stickers that are sort of hard to see, but they're actually the portrait stickers right there. And then all sorts of windows sort of looking outside and giving this room a bunch of light. I love that window there with all the stained glass. It's amazing. Here's an up-close look at that chandelier with the Hungarian horntail wings on top. It's actually interesting the way that this clips into spot. It just sits right here on these wedge elements. And then once you get it positioned, you just put these curved slope pieces over top and it'll sort of hold it in place on either side. And then it can sort of freely suspend from the ceiling and has a little bit of motion there as well. This panel is actually very easy to remove. So if you really wanted to see in there, you can do so very easily. It's just held on by a couple studs right here. So it's actually almost modular as well. You can remove that whole panel very easily. And actually another neat thing about this bookcase is when it swings open, the hole will actually line up with the arched entryway of the Grand Chapel. So it actually acts as a way for students to access the Grand Chapel. Also, when these buildings line up together, you can see there's the other entryway right there that lines up from the back garden. So that's another thing to know when it's in its primary position, these arched entryways here actually have sort of a meaning. Whereas if it was like this here, it would be pressed up against the wall of another modular building. So I don't think it works out as well, but it still looks good and can be tailored to suit your city. So everybody, there we have the University Modular Building built by Bolt Builds. Wow. Good job. It's a great use of all of the parts. Well, not all of them, but a huge percentage of the parts uh, from the massive Lego Hogwarts castle set. In fact, I think this is the second largest alternate build, or yeah, second largest alternate build on uh, Rebrickable.com, so it's pretty cool. Uh, great, it's gonna look fantastic in the Lego city. Can't wait to put it in there and experiment with it in different layouts and stuff like that. Lots of detail in the building. I'm sure I missed a bunch of it. Uh, I'm, we could make a, an hour review of this thing, looking at all the different arches and uh, pieces and part usage and, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There it is. The University. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for popping on by. Farewell.